For now, we're joined by Marty Gilliard, Massachusetts Pirates Offensive Player of the Year. And it was quite a season. I mean, when you take a look back at it, it was uh, – did you anticipate having that kind of year with the Pirates? Yeah. Yeah. How so? I told you all last year. Um, when I come back, it was straight pressure. It was going to be 30-plus. Like, I told you that. I meant it. I knew it. I felt it. I was confident, and as long as I'm healthy, you feel me, you know, I'll be able to, to, to put up any numbers that I, you know, just like that. 33 touchdowns and 198 points, our new single season records in the National Arena League. So, you know, that's, that's one thing you can, can point to. But this season started really slow for the Pirates. Yeah. And yet you still were able to attain record numbers. Inconsistency is the key. Um, even when stuff is bad, man, 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 you gotta have some good out of the bad. You know, um, I just tried to stay consistent as I could for the Pirates. You know what I mean? Um, at this point in time in my career, like I was saying uh, earlier in the year, it's like you have to focus on the mental aspect of the game because everything is not going to be, you know, grits and gravy. You know what I mean? Everything is just not going to be as smooth, you know, as you would want it to be. You know, of course, we're wanting to go into every game and dominate everybody offensively. You know, Sean's back on this on his repeat MVP season and he's throwing for all over the yard. You know, Marty's all over the place. He's back for a full season, you know, but it's like, you, know, you got to be realistic, you know what I mean? So it's it's tough. So uh, that leads us to the last question then. You got the numbers, you set the records. This, what's next for Marty Gilliard? It's going to be a hard uphill battle, man. Uh, but nothing I ain't used to. I mean, hell, man, everything about my life and my career has been hard. I mean, you can Google the story, you know, four jobs, homeless. Mm -hmm. um, you asked my mom, I was born and she had a dry birth, you know, so I wasn't even supposed to be here from the start. Um, I mean, just, just, man, I've overcome so much, man. God has been good to me, you know, and I truly believe that everything happens for a reason. So, like, you know, this ain't nothing but a major, major injury, but, you know, it's just a minor setback for a major comeback, to be honest. So, uh, for me, it's just time for me to sit back, reflect, um, focus on my body, um, like I should have been on the back end of the season, I guess. Uh, but, you know, you live and learn, man. Um, but like I said, it was a hell of a ride. It was a hell of a year. Um, I, I gave everything I could, you know. Um, if I could have been out there with us on one leg, man, I swear to God I would have, you know. Um, it just hurts. It's, it. Yeah, it, it does, the numbers don't help it, that's for sure. But losing just sucks, man. You but you'll be back. The amount of that we did and getting hurt. It's like I put a lot of pressure on myself to always take care of business for us. And for me to go out in the manner that I did, it just like, it tears a hole in me that ain't gonna be filled up until I get cut, until I get back in the rehab, until I get back to where I feel like I can be the best that I can be for us here. Um, but again, man, going out the way I did, bro, yeah. like, I can't accept it. Like, I can't eat it. Like, it's going to kill me until next year. So for me, it's like, it hurts. Way worse than it's going to hurt. Way worse than this hurts. Way worse than hurting it. Way worse than the surgery or the rehab is going to be, like, getting hurt in that game to a team that shouldn't have beat us. They know they shouldn't beat us. You know, for them to get that win and that, and that light, and for me not to be able to help my brothers fight, you know, for me not to be able to lead the ship into, into the championship like we supposed to be. You know, I wasn't supposed to get hurt, but I got hurt. You know, so for me, it's like, damn. We supposed to be there. You supposed to have carried us. Like this is just how, this is just my thought process. You know, you mm -hmm. supposed to been there for them boys. You were supposed to be there. You were supposed to make every play. You was, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like that's just my thought process because when all else fails, just throw it to Marty. I make it happen. You know what I'm saying? But then when that happened, it's just like, well, now, you know, now I have to turn into Coach Marty. You know? <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, I'll say this. But we did good. I will look forward to your return and running into walls and places like New York and 
pinching me in and <laughs> going into Jacksonville and not going over the wall, but hitting the door and having the thing fly into me. So I'll look forward to all that as long as uh, we see you back on the field next year. Yeah, we will. We will. <laughs> um, so to the fans, you know, I just thank everybody, man, uh, for backing us, even when, even when it was all bad, you know what I mean? Uh, for making sure they always supported us, you know, and just for the city for being, you know, who they are to us, you know, um, that, that's our fuel, man, you know. Uh, we play for the city and the community, and they've been real good to us, you know. So next year. Next year. Corner, baby. Well, we look forward to it. Marty Gilliard of the Massachusetts Pirates, the Pirates Offensive Player of the Year. Bye.